Hello everyone, I'm Mike D'Angelo with That's Entertainment and this is your video review of Dragon Age Origins by Bioware. Over the past 11 years, Bioware has had an excellent track record with its role-playing game properties. When Baldur's Gate hit the shelves in 1998, it took the PC world by storm, becoming one of the most loved Dungeons & Dragons games of its time. And with such critical and financial successes that followed, such as Neverwinter Nights, Knights of the Old Republic, and Mass Effect, it's hard to imagine the developer slipping far from the top of the pile. But, with the release of Dragon Age Origins, does Bioware still retain its formula for success? Dragon Age Origins strong suit is most definitely in its story. Everything is meticulously crafted and there is no end to the extent of the amount of lore that Bioware instilled into this massive dark epic. And should you be the kind of player who'd rather not sift through all the dialogue that is primarily used to add depth to the characters and world around you, you can simply opt not to seek out those branches of the dialogue tree. What do you say, Lethaleen? What should we do with them? The main story is one littered with betrayal, an army of darkness, and a chance for redemption and revenge. But there are also six unique origins that you can access based on your choice of race and class, and they usually last an hour or so. Those stories aren't carelessly tossed to the wind after you proceed to the main tale either. They keep coming back, letting you know that your character is not just some cardboard cutout in a cookie cutter world. As deep as the story goes, the gameplay might be just as expansive. And depending on your playstyle, this could be seen as a blessing or a burden. The combat requires a lot of planning. Your party can be a collection of four characters who you've encountered and recruited along the way, and you can jump in during combat and assign them tasks or attacks. But this can become unwieldy, and battles can be hectic. The other option is to use a tactic system that assigns them different patterns under certain circumstances. There isn't a choice between the two. If you opt to do nothing, you'll often find yourself on the losing side of battle. The role-playing element of the game is fun, even if you do have to really plan out your characters as you go. There are a good amount of choices of abilities and talents that you can map out for you and your allies. The battles themselves can get hectic, but when you're overrun by opponents and you manage to come out on top, there really is a feeling of satisfaction. There has been a lot of debate on gaming forums about the presentation of Dragon Age Origins. Chances are, if you've seen a commercial for the game, you were led to believe that the graphics were incredible to look upon. Unfortunately, the graphics of the game look nothing like what was presented in the commercial. This kind of misrepresentation blows my mind. Dragon Age Origins never comes close to looking as good as the commercial implied, which to me seems a little shady. The style behind the graphics is well thought out and cool to take in. The origin stories don't really do a good job of highlighting just how interesting the development team's choices were, so I recommend not judging the game on the first hour or so of play. With that in mind, even though the graphics are a bit of a letdown, you probably won't even be paying attention to it as the game proceeds. The music of the game is somewhat forgettable as well, but the voiceover work is fantastic. Combined with an already expansive dialogue, the acting is top-notch, some of the best of the current generation of gaming. There isn't anything mind-blowing about the game's presentation, but after the initial dissatisfaction, you may find yourself pleasantly enjoying the game in spite of it. Bioware does one thing excellently that almost nobody else can boast. They know how to mix it up. With the variety of races, classes, and origin stories, Dragon Age already has enough reasons to play the game through more than once. But if you throw in the other characters you can find on your journey, not to mention the development of all the characters and the downloadable content, and you truly have a game that could last you months. Although it would have been great to see some multiplayer, there really isn't too much that Bioware needs to change to this part of their tried and true formula. Come into these dark spawn filled wilds of mine in search of easy prey. Dragon Age Origins comes out swinging, but it exhausts itself with a heavy story and dark subject matter instead of taking the time to make sure all the aspects of the game are shining. With a combination of unimpressive graphics and an unwieldy tactics system, Bioware delivers a title that could have come to the party strong and had the stamina to keep on pressing through to the new year. Instead, it's like the ugly duckling. If you're willing to see past the gritty exterior, the game can be truly satisfying. In spite of its shortcomings, many gamers will fall in love with Dragon Age Origins. That's Entertainment awards Dragon Age Origins a score of 8 out of 10.